Hello friends. In this video, I will explain how you can calculate design speed of a road if the curvature of road is not constant, it's varying. So this problem is called design speed using radius of curvature. So the problem says, a car moves at uniform speed along a curve by is equals to b sin x by alpha where b and alpha are positive constants. The friction coefficient between road and tire is given and this is equals to mu. We have to find the maximum possible speed of car for its motion along the curve without any skidding. Now let us plan this problem. So how we can solve this problem? So what are the things that is given? So we have been given, so this curve is given and the equation of this curve is given by is equals to b sin x by alpha. And the friction coefficient between road and the tire is given. So basically you have your car that is moving here so between friction coefficient between tire and the road is given and this value is mu. So we have to find maximum design speed. If you remember in the previous videos I explained that the maximum speed or maximum design speed is given by this formula. That is b maximum is less than mu times r times z and then take a square root of that term. Now let us try to see in this case this car is somewhere here some point of time this is here some point of this is here but now in this case r is not constant in this case r is the radius of curvature this is not constant for example at this point of time this part is a part of this circle of radius r1 but at this point this is a part of a smaller circle that is radius is in this case is r2 so the radius of curvature is not constant so how we can find the maximum velocity so my maximum velocity has to be less than this now this term r is varying. So this means this maximum velocity has to be less than minimum of this value. So whatever the minimum that is coming for this, my v maximum has to be less than minimum of that also. So we can write that v maximum has to be less than mu rg for all values of r. This means B maximum has to be less than minimum of mu rz. So if this is less than minimum of this, then it is always less than for all values. So using this concept, let us try to solve this problem. Pause this video and solve this and then we will discuss the solution. Okay, so let us try to solve this problem. So the main thing in this case is radius that is radius of curvature if you remember we have a formula and this formula is 1 plus d by by dx square and this raised to the power 3 by 2 and this divided by d2 by by dx square and modulus of this quantity so this is the radius of curvature now let us find dy by dx so equation of curve is given so equation of curve is y is equals to b sin x by alpha so d by by dx will be b by alpha and sin becomes cos x by alpha and then d2 by by dx square will be and this will become 1 by alpha square and cos alpha will be sin alpha cos x by alpha will be sin x by alpha and then there is a negative sign so when this 
radius of curvature will be minimum so of course the radius of curvature will be minimum when this is at this point at tap point so let's call this point is a this point is b and similarly i can say this point is c so other points so the radius of curvature will be minimum at point b when the sine function is maximum so r will be minimum r will be minimum when this function that is sine of x by alpha is equals to 1 and this means x by alpha is equals to pi by 2 and this means x is equals to pi alpha by 2. So when x is equals to this value you will have maximum uh, sine thing and this radius of curvature will be minimum in this case. So let us find minimum radius of curvature. So we will have 1 plus and d2 by dx square. So dy by dx when sin alpha is 1 cos alpha is 0. So this term will be simply 0. So you can say this term will be 0. So 1 plus 0. So this raised to the power 3 by 2 and this divided by d2 by dx square sin x by alpha will be 1 so this is simply minus 1 by alpha square and take modulus of this so this will be alpha square so now you know minimum r so b maximum will be under root mu times r times z and r is nothing but alpha square and g so this is maximum design speed will be alpha times under root mu z so basically i missed one term so there will be a b also so this is b this is b so this b will go everywhere so this will be b by alpha square so this will be alpha square by b alpha square by b and this will be uh, inside b so maximum velocity finally will be alpha times mu z by b so this is the maximum speed that is allowed for this road now question for you the question is i said r will be minimum when sin x by alpha is equals to 1 that is at the top point and this is obvious now can you show this mathematically or can you show using some other kind of reasoning so whatever reasoning you have let us write in the comment box and we will see you in the next video thank you if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel and i will post more videos in the coming days thank you